the greatest individual rivalry in basketball, you and Larry. Mm-hmm. Prior, to, prior to that NCAA tournament, still was the most watched NCAA finals game in, in, in NCAA history. Right. How much did you know about Larry Bird prior to that game? Well, Shannon, um, the summer before, they had the WIT tournament. Okay. And they brought all the best college players together. Okay. To play against the world. Okay. And, man, <clears throat> I see this guy, you know, blonde hair, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, let me see if he can play. Okay. Man, I'm sitting there watching him shoot Shannon. He must have made 30 in a row all net. I so said, he was Steph Curry before Steph yeah, Wade. Yeah, yeah, Steph. yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting there saying, this dude can play. Okay. Because, you know, brothers, we always say, okay, can the white dude really play? Correct. You know? and right. so, so then I said, oh, man, he a bad boy. Right. Then we got in the game. Jack Gibbons was player of the year that year. Right. He tore him up, man. From Kentucky, Jack Gibbs from Kentucky. Con- Kentucky. Because they won the national championship That's in 78. Right. That same time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Man, Larry Bird was taking it to him. <laughs> I said, oh, man. I'm calling back home saying, oh, he for real. He for real. This right. new Larry Bird? Right. Oh, he got it. He right. play. He's dominating Jack right. Evans. And they said, no way. I said, oh, yeah. He's dominating. So here we go six, seven months later. Right. We're playing in the NCAA championship game. He's player of the year. Sports Illustrated, all the magazines got he on the cover. Right. And I said, wow. And they're 33 and 0. 33 and 0. Man, I said, oh. And they hadn't been ranked since. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and they weren't ranked before. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and we we put two guys on it. We right. double teamed them. And right. We knew we could beat them because Greg Kelser, he was a superstar in college. Yeah, Greg man. Greg was dominant. That was yeah. the first, really the first time I started seeing the alley oop. Yeah. Cause you got, you got, you got brought that. Cause hey, you come down the court and you throw it up, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that was so great. Oh, it was sweet, man. And and he could just jump out the gym, and control his body. Right. And he had a phenomenal college career. Right. And so uh, we figured two stars could beat one. Right. And that's what happened. You come into the NBA because back then people don't realize this. They could draft you a year early. That's he right. went back to school. The Celtics took took Larry with the six pick, if I'm not mistaken, in 78. The year before. Right. And he went back to school. That's right. And so they still own this draft rights. Yep. So you guys, so you guys have this. Okay. How fitting. He goes to the Celtics. <laughs> you go to the Lakers. And we know this rivalry in the 60s. That's that that was, that was the basketball. Yeah. And so now, did you have any idea? that you guys were going to put basketball, the NBA, back on the map, and you're going to redefine what the NBA was? No, Shannon, we didn't know. But what we just did was just played our game. Okay. We ended up in the two most famous, you know, franchises. Right. The Celtics and the Lakers. And then his personality was Boston. My personality was Hollywood. Right, right. So, right, so, right I right. mean – they couldn't have script this any better. No. And then I, you know, I'm playing with Kareem and all the guys, and who would ever thought that um, my first final of my rookie season, we're on tape delayed. Yeah. The finals. Yeah, that's what people don't realize. The game weren't live. No, no. Tape delayed. Tape delayed. I could go play and go home <laughs> and watch myself play <laughs> <laughs> that night. Yeah. Right? And so um, we actually – Brought the finals and all the other games to primetime TV. Yep. Larry and I changed the whole league. And um, also, too, every other year, the Lakers would win or the Celtics would win. Right. The Lakers would win or the Celtics would win. So it was just great. And I'm glad that we came in together because I had somebody to measure myself to. Right. And say, hey, okay, he's great. I can't let him get, get too, too far, far ahead of me. I got to work hard because I want to stay in – how, how, would you, how would you guys' relationship, how would you describe your relationship? Obviously, you beat him in the NCAA, the, the finals in 79, but how was your relationship once you got to the NBA? Because I think the thing was, he was rookie of the year. I think you got like one or two votes. That's all. That's all you I, That's think, all. He was like, I think it was like 32, 33 no, to no, like one or two. No, even le- more than that, it was 60-something to like two. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say that, too. I got to say that on TV. 
And so I was pissed, man. I was mad. You're like, hold on. I I led a team to the NBA, and I couldn't get but two votes. Two votes became the first rookie in NBA history to be named Finals MVP. Yeah. I was only the third dude ever in NBA history to go from the college championship yep. to the NBA Finals championship. Right. And I, so I get like two <laughs> votes, and, and they were two LA dudes. <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, he's not that much better than me. Right. Not 63 to two. Right. But okay, I took it. I took it. But our relationship, Shannon, was fractured because Celtics, Lakers. Right. See, we hated them, they hated us. Right. So we could never be yeah, friends. Right, right. And I Pat get... Riley stressed that. Right. He said, I don't want, if a Celtic go to the ground, you better not pick him up. Right. And so we had to hate him to beat him. Right. Right? Right. It wasn't until 87, I went out, Converse wanted to do a commercial with both of us. Okay. I flew out to French Lick, Indiana, right. where he from. The weapons, the cons. Exactly. So he had the black ones, I had the purple and gold ones. Right. <clears throat> so we shot about half the commercial, a little bit more, and it's lunchtime. So I'm thinking I'm going to you going my to the trailer because we really haven't bre broken bread before right. like this. So as I'm taking about three steps toward the trailer, he said, Magic, man, I'd like you to have lunch with me up at the house. My mom has prepared lunch. He threw the mom, you know, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can't you say can't, no. You way. can't say no. He threw, <laughs> he threw the mom in there. Okay. So I go to the, the to the house, you know, and uh, he's down there. I'm down here. She's bringing out all the dishes, and she brought that last one and set it down. And she hit him. Said, uh, "Did you tell him yet?" And Larry said, "No, nah, mom. You tell him." She turned and said, "Magic, you my favorite basketball player." <laughs> And I just said, oh, man. Thank that you, was Mom, it. Up there. That was it. And then we started talking. Right. Like two little boys. Right. And, you know, we, we're, we're similar. We grew up poor. We're both from the Midwest. We love the game. We love to win, you know, on right. and on and on. And that's when our friendship evolved and grew. And we've been friends ever since. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.